In this video, I want to go through and set up some more inputs just for uh, the case of us actually doing more stuff. So specifically, we now have a magnified optic, but we can't zoom in or out with it. So I want to, you know, have some stability just to kind of do that out of the box. What we're going to do is we're going to basically make some input actions here. So I'm going to do uh, lean left and lean right. That'll be the first thing. So we're going to do Q and E. Grab our shooter pond component, and we want to do lean left as our first, and then stop lean left for release. And we're going to set the target angle to be the max, which is 45. And then same thing down here, we went lean right and stop lean right. Like so. Again, 45. And pretty straightforward there. So now by default, press Q and E. We now, you know, we have our lean. Very simple. Moving on, let's go ahead and we'll, let's see, we'll do mouse wheel up. Okay, that does mouse wheel axis. Mouse wheel up. And mouse wheel down. So what we want to do is we want to have kind of specific conditions. So if we are aiming, so search for aiming, you can see get is aiming. We want to zoom in and zoom out. So we want the same condition here. Oops, I didn't mean to remove it. Both of these. So to do so, we want to grab off our shooter pond component. We want to get the current optic component and from here we can call zoom in and zoom out so now let's go ahead and we'll add some more I'm in the wrong folder I need to go to tutorial and find the optic so here we want to add some more well, zooming options, so to speak. So we're going to do one, we're going to do four, all right, I guess I'm hitting three, and then eight. So we're going to have like a three big stages. So I'm going to aim right here, we're going to zoom in like so, and then back out. So all the way zooming in makes it a little bit on the big side for this uh, reticle, especially for second focal plane. But it still works. So I'm going to remove the last one. I'm just going to do between, I guess, one and four. Now the zoom settings here, we can turn off smooth zoom, and that'll basically just snap between them. So one power, four power, back and forth like so. But I'm going to leave it as, uh, I'm going to leave smooth zoom on. Okay, moving along. I want to change the reticle itself, so I'm going to press that for... Let's do, uh, we'll do M for material, and we're going to grab this. So it's just going to be get our current optic component, and we're just going to call cycle reticle. So now we need more than one reticle, which is a small issue because we technically do not have it. So we're gonna, going to uh, delete the scene capture so we have a normal optic, and we're going to switch to the EOTech red and then EOTech green for our two optic materials and then when we press M we should cycle between. Press M and now we can switch between each reticle. Let's see, I'm trying to think of what else. I think I already did the left click maybe. At least I thought I did. Yeah, left mouse button. Oh yeah I did. It does right here. I can't really think of anything else with what we've done. We could start working on some poses. Um, let's do, we'll do the last one. So we'll do reticle brightness, because that's, I think, the next thing in regards to reticles. So let's go ahead and we, well, oh, that's the night vision. Make a couple different ones. So we'll have it start on one, so basically no emissiveness at all. Then we'll do, say, 
25, then, and why not? Let's do 2,500. Make it stupid bright. So, exact same thing again. So we get the optic component, and we can call it increase reticle brightness. And here, we're going to do the exact same thing, but the opposite, and we are going to decrease reticle brightness. And now we just got to figure out what key binds. So I'm going to, I'm going to do, let's see, O to increase and L to decrease. So when I zoom in, or aim, I press O, go brighter, brighter, and then dimmer, and dimmer. And it'll swap between them as well. So if I go fully dim, all reticles are fully dim. And if you wanted to switch to, say, the night vision, if you just search for night vision, you can see toggle, reticle, night vision setting. And that'll basically flip-flop between having night vision on versus having it off. So... Quite straightforward, uh, not really a whole lot. You can adjust the point of impact. So we have all of our zero settings. So for example, in the current optic component, search for point of impact or even the zero category. We now have, well, up, down, left, and right. You can change it that way through your zero. And we can also revert it back to the default at which it's spawned with. But that's for uh, magnified optics currently only. And let's see, I think that is pretty much it for the time being. Not entirely sure what else we're going to cover. Probably something with the, some grips or something like that. We'll see. So I'll see you in the next video.